Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture, Typhoon here, and in this session we are going to get hands-on with Ghidra and learn how to set up your first project. You will also see how to import a binary and understand how Ghidra organizes and manages your data. This foundational walkthrough will prepare you for more advanced reverse engineering work later on. And here we have the Ghidra projects folder, right? And one of the Ghidra's core differences compared to other reverse engineering tools is how it structures analysis. Now, if we run this Ghidra, and here we know active project here, but you will see that it's called project. And so, rather than opening files directly like most other reverse engineering tools do, Ghidra uses a project-based system. Now, this is a huge advantage when dealing with large projects, multiple binaries, or collaborating with other analysts. Now, to create a new project, we will go to the top menu on the file and new project, or simply use a shortcut for Control N. This Control and N here. And after that, you will see two options. Also, remember, if you Google or DuckDuckGo uh, Ghidra cheat sheet, and you will see the lots of keyboards here. Oops, wait, yeah. Now here, here, yeah, there's a lot of option on keyboards and a lot of information on that page. And here you will be prompted to select between a non-shared project or a shared project. Now for this example, we will be working solo. So we will choose a non-shared project and click next. Now you need to give your project a name. And names have to be descriptive, like in programming. We'll open the Gitter projects, select project directory, and we will name the project as hello world and click on finish. And here we have the Hello World project. And if we go to this file and get the projects, Hello World, yeah, you have, you can see that we have one directory, two log files, and uh, one GPR file. Now this is a GPR file, like as the name implies, Hello World.gpr. Um, is, this is the main project file. We have the rep folder directory, if you come from the Linux side. Um, I use Arch, by the way. So in this rep directory, we have uh, this, which stores all related metadata and analysis um, data, basically. And it, this folder will get bigger as we analyze our um, project file or executable. Yeah, that's basically it. And this log files, um, Ghidra prevents simultaneous access to the same project by using this kind of log mechanisms where you can see also in the um, VMware virtual machines here, um, almost same. We have that log uh, file and we have the dot log file uh, but if you open this, you will see the time, a lot of information about how this work uh, log file happened. Now, if you try to open this GPR while log files uh, are there, Ghidra will detect this log and log some symbol file and block duplicate access. Now, this ensures that your data is not accidentally corrupted during multitasking or teamwork. And yeah, that's we have opened our project, uh, Ghidra, created project files, and so on and so forth. We have the active project, Hello World, but we are missing something. We need some executable file or binary file. It doesn't matter. Ghidra analyzes everything. We need some file to analyze. And now, we will write some code with Visual Studio. Like, doesn't matter, you can even use the text file, of course, if you have 
but of course we will need to firstly install the MinGW from the SourceForge uh, download. Now this will download the MinGW, 5 seconds, we don't have a 5 seconds, life is short. Yeah, I have deleted, but don't worry, yeah. We will open this, okay, yeah, run, install, continue, already in use, uh, run now. So that's it, it is installed, click on update catalog, it will update it. And what you need to install from this catalog is GDB, GCC, G++, bin and dev, two of them. You don't know where, where you will need that. And uh, GCC, this is the most important, right? That's it. You know, or you can, well, if you have a storage problem, with you, but you shouldn't, because it will just take 10 megabytes max. You can install this GCC only, it will work as well. Now, after that, mark all upgrades, and that's it. GCC is installed. So what you need to do after this installation process is you need to add this GCC to your environment variables so you can run the GCC whenever you want, like I did here. And in order to do that, we'll go to System Properties, Environment Variables, Path. That's it. This is how easy, this is as easy as it gets in installing GCC. You don't need a 10 minute or 15 minutes lectures understanding or explaining nonsense. This is like one minute thing. That's it. And what we need to do here is we will open VS Codium main C in, uh, and we will write some program. Now, as, after installation, of course, you need to make sure that GCC is working on the CMD here. And you can check that by click, 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 pressing GCC on uh, CMD. And the version, you can see the mean GW. Uh, there's a free software. Nice. And that's it. So include, uh, we will write some hello world program and integer main and printf, we will just print hello world and new line. And to compile, yeah, we don't, we don't want to return here. So to compile the program using newly installed GCC, we will save the code here. Oops, hello world. Yeah. We will save the code and make GCC hello world.c. Fatal input. Yes. No, GCC main.c, of course. Main.c. And output is going to be hello world.exe. We have error here. Of course, this. Last live wrote the Python code, so that's why I forgot here. Hello world at exit, that's it. Now we will open this. See, uh, here we have hello world at exit. If we run this, it will quickly show the hello world, but what you need to do is open a terminal and hello world desktop hello world dot exe and you can see hello world is written here without a problem that's an easy thing to do don't worry and what you need to do then now now Ghidra will we will go to here open the Ghidra we will click on file import file and that's it now what you need to do you will know that we need to in import this hello world dot exe file, uh, select file to import. I will go up now. And you can see it also, it automatically detected that it is a x86 32 bit uh, Windows PA, which is basically means portable executable. And once detected, You will click on the OK to confirm the input. F, yeah, that was quick. <laughs> and after that, 
You will see the summary here. Yeah, this might sometimes be problematic, but yeah, here we are. And you will see the summary here. Um, you know, this will give you insights into the file's structure, segments, and metadata. You can see a project file name. Read only, it's not read only, we can write this also. Uh, language ID, Windows, Indian is little, address size 32, bytes, memory blocks, instructions, defined data functions, symbols, data types, yeah, so on and so forth. We have a lot, lot of information here about the executable location, data created. And yeah, after this is a, just the import result summary. Nothing special here, but in some cases you will get pretty easy information here. And that's it. I will go down. Unlike tools that focus on a single file analysis, Ghidra lets you work with multiple binaries at once. Now you can import the main executable along with its supporting DLLs, configuration files, or even firmware images. This is incredibly useful for complex projects where understanding across binary relationships is essential. Now you can search across multiple files, link symbol references, and organize your work in a modular, scalable way. Now this project-based design is one of the Ghidra's uh, greatest strengths compared to other tools, especially when compared to more like traditional tools. And that's it. In the next lecture, we will take our first steps in the Ghidra's disassembler and decompiler. Now you will learn how to initialize, um, initiate analysis, interpret the results, and begin navigating a binary from a reverse engineer's uh, perspective. Thank you for watching. I'm Typhoon and I'm meeting you in next lecture.